Today, I'll be going over this Smart Garage Door Controller by Ikairo. In the box, we have a manual, the unit itself, some mounting hardware, and more mounting hardware for the sensor. I do want to explain why I'm installing this. It's definitely some sort of interference, something that's interfering with my clicker because my clicker is working intermittently and I've tried turning off all my LED lights. I bought new clickers and programmed them and they work intermittently. So first we need to figure out if your garage door is even compatible. So let's go to eCairo.com, garage door adapter. Now select your manufacturer, find the manufacturer and the model number. You should be able to look on the garage door opener itself and it should tell you. So mine's an overhead door 850. We do not need an adapter. Some of y'all might need an adapter and we should be good to go. Now we need to download the Smart Life application. Go ahead and open the app. Allow, agree, sign up. Once you're done signing up, allow, continue. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and plug in our device. We now have a blinking red light. As soon as I open the app, it has already recognized that it is plugged in. So go ahead and add. Go ahead and set now and put in your password for your Wi-Fi. I went ahead and moved the unit down here so it'd be easier to deal with. The light is not blinking. You can hold this button right here until it blinks. Now it's currently sending the credentials of my Wi-Fi to this little unit here so it will connect to the Wi-Fi. And just like that, we're connected. Let's go ahead and remove this cover here. On the overhead door, you have little tabs on the top. So you push that down and it comes right out. The next recommended step is to connect the unit to the overhead door itself. I'm actually gonna connect it to the side. Let's go ahead and grab the adhesive that I came with. The next step is to figure out where these wires are gonna go. To do that, you need some sort of jump wire. Now, what I did, I went from each one, try to connect it until finally the garage door open. The two wires that open up my garage door is these two end ones right here. There's no specified way to do this, but I'm assuming I'm gonna put red with the red and black with white. You might have screws on yours, so maybe undo the Phillips head, strip this wire a bit more if you need to, then wrap around that Phillips head. But for me, I just place it into this little hole right here. And on this one, I'm gonna push all the way back, push the wire in, and it should be snug, and it is. Then connect this one in. Should be snug. Hold up, we're not done yet. We have a bit more mounting to do. We have this sensor that will let you know in the app whether or not your garage door is shut or open, which is actually pretty cool. So let's do that. Which connects to this guy, which I just got notifications that is telling me that my garage door is open. It's closed, now it's open. That's some pretty good security, especially if you go out of town for a while and maybe someone wants to break into your garage and try to steal all your motorcycles. Happened to me. Luckily, they didn't steal all the motorcycles. Just my buddies. He got it back. There's more to that story. Oh. And they stole my wife's bicycle. We essentially want to connect this to something that's going to move on the garage door itself. If your garage door uses a belt on here and it doesn't interfere with any of the moving mechanicals when it finally gets to the point of full open, then you could put this on the belt up there. This is how I have it for my home security. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. Get some alcohol, clean both spots that you're gonna install this on. And I'm gonna test to see if this is close enough. My phone just notified me. Get the adhesive, put it on the back. Now, I'm just gonna pull this wire tight over there. Gonna grab the, uh, the tie it came with and tie it up. I'm actually just gonna connect it right here. Hidden kind of out of the way. I'm now going to come back over here, grab it tight and tie it right back here. So it would hopefully never interfere with the door. As you can see, it's sagging still. So I'm gonna put the wire on top 
and I'm gonna move this mounting spot that I have placed, put it around here and move it back. Two more zip ties just to keep it in place. And these zip ties did come with the, uh, the, the package. Let's see if it works and doesn't interfere with anything. It's definitely clicking, but it's not opening. Ah, oh, the red wire came out. All the tugging I just did. Let's try that again. So it worked with no interference, but now it's saying the garage door is open. It's not open. That has to mean this sensor is not connecting properly. Oh, you know what it is? Opening. Closed. The sensor was just a bit too far. Now we need to clean up these wires a good bit. I'm just gonna throw this wire right up here. Now I can reinstall my LED light so the light will turn on whenever I open up the garage because it's not gonna interfere with my Wi-Fi clicker. So it says it's been closed and it has an issue, but I'm getting a notification. I guess the app kind of gets confused when you open it, stop it, then close it. It doesn't know what exactly is going on. That's why you might get those messages. But as long as you get the notification, you know the door is either open or closed. You are able to connect this garage door opener to a Google Home, Alexa, and even your smartphone. And in this case, I'm using an iPhone. So let's connect it to Siri. So let's go to the Smart Life app, create a scene, launch to tap to run, add a task, and my, it's gonna be run device, garage door, action, it's gonna be open, save, next, save. Let's add another scene, run the device, garage door, and action, and it's gonna be close. Let's save that, next, and save. So now we have two scenes, and each one will either open the garage door, then we can close it. Now we can add this to Siri. Add to Siri, bottom right, garage door, action, close. Hey Siri, close the garage door. Done. Hey Siri, open the garage door. Done. Hey Siri, close the garage door. Okay, done. Oh, but we're not done. We can now slide to the left, slide all the way down, edit, customize, Let's add Smart Life Tap to Run Shortcuts. There you go, done. And now you just slide left, scroll down, and you can open or close the garage door. We live in a crazy age. We have computers or AIs that we can tell to do things, like close the garage door. Crazy. If you wanna check out this product, then I'll link it down below in the description. And that'd be one way to support this channel and help me keep coming out with these videos. I am personally so happy I got this. I am so tired of click, 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 waiting for the garage door to open and close when I'm trying to leave <laughs> and come back. <sighs> Yep, that's it. This is Chris Automotive. I always appreciate and respect another. And thank you for taking time to watch this video. I'll see you next time.